Now we will discuss Databricks and getting started in Databricks. So I'll begin this with uh, Databricks 101. Some information about Databricks. Uh, Databricks is a company created by the founders of Apache Spark in 2013. And Databricks has been the number one contributor to Spark. We will be using Databricks extensively throughout this course. So uh, the first thing you need to do is go create an account with uh, the Community Edition of Databricks. Uh, now the Community Edition of Databricks is free, but you are limited to six gigabytes, okay? Actually, no, not six gigabytes. It is now 15 gigabytes as of today. So go to that URL, community.cloud.databricks.com, and create your account. Once you've created your account, then log in to that website at the link above, and uh, I will guide you into creating a cluster within a notebook. Okay. So getting started, that is, uh, we will create a Spark cluster and uh, use that cluster to uh, access a notebook. Okay. So in the sidebar, you'll click the clusters button to open the link. And on the clusters page, click create cluster. Name the cluster quick start. In the Databricks runtime version drop down menu, select the following runtime. Okay, these are updated continuously. Um, so if you get a better option than this, you may want to choose that. But I typically go with what um, Databricks recommends. That is uh, sort of what's in the default. Okay, so once you do that, then go ahead and click Create Cluster. So here is the screen uh, that will appear. Uh, so so once you've uh, entered the cluster name as Quick Start, um, and, uh, and the, the runtime version will be automatically selected for you, and you see that you get a free 15 gigabytes of memory, um, but uh, they'll, terminate, um, if they'll terminate your session if you're idle for two hours. So it shouldn't be a problem, though. So um, now let's create a notebook. Uh, step one, click on the workspace from the left-hand sidebar. Then right-click or control-click for Mac in the white space under workspace. Then click create and then click notebook. Okay. Um, so here's a good name for your first notebook. That is my first notebook and uh, use the Python language and be sure to select the cluster you just created. Um, that will take a few seconds to get the cluster going, but uh, you should be good to go. You uh, should have just accessed a Jupyter notebook, okay? So here are a few notebook basics, okay? To create a new code cell, um, you can hover your mouse over the middle of the code cell until a plus appears and then click the plus. Um, you can do this to create cells above or below the current cell. To make the cell a markdown cell, okay, simply write percent %MD in the cell at the top and then type your markdown text. Okay, so um, I expect that you're familiar with what markdown is versus what code is. Uh, markdown is just a simple uh, a type up language that uh, that is nice to read whereas code of course does something does some kind of process um, the play button on the right of each cell uh, or code chunk allows you to run each code cell 
Uh, you can also run all the code cells by clicking run all at the top of the screen. Okay. So enough talk, let's code. Um, so I will be going over a demonstration of this and I will post that video as well. So uh, thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.